that to you well with my love hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Busby. and if you're a subscriber hey take a seat take your popcorn make sure you subscribe and share to your friends and if you're returning subscribers you know what is happening here you know the drill already you know the vibes so sit down i'm gonna tell you 10 things i wish i knew before entering caleb university this video is dedicated to people that I just come into Caleb for the first time that want to like screen Caleb University. So this video is for you and make sure you share to your friends if you are seeing this. Save your life. First thing I wish I knew is that um, nothing is easy. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, like to be sincere, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But I never thought it was going to be like this hard. I never thought it was going to be that hard. About the rules. I wish I knew more about the rules. Because there's Caleb has a lot of we have a lot of rules. Any small mistake, you're going. You are going. So um I really shine you a lot about the rules and I now that I know I don't think I'm gonna make any mistake. And you have to watch what I post on social medias, anything I'm gonna be posting because don't say Caleb are not gonna see it, they might see it. That's the thing. Don't say Caleb is not gonna see this if I post it, Caleb are not gonna there is spy, there are spies everywhere. You don't know who is watching out for Caleb. You don't know who is watching for Caleb. You don't know. There are spies everywhere. So make sure you are careful about what you post because anything is one thing. Boom. Gossip never stops. Like your gossip never stop. Don't say mm, nobody's gossiping about me. Nobody's talking about me. Nobody's doing this about me. If they're not talking about good things about you, they're not gossiping about something that is good about you. They're just gossiping, they're obviously gossiping about something that is bad about you. So yeah, don't say nobody's gossiping about you. Can we gossip around you with people that you call your friends in your class, in your class, in your in your class, in your where in your rooms? They can see you don't even say that okay, you're not going to gossip about me in other people's room. The, your gossip can be there. You go in there a lot can make them gossip about you. You go in there for the first time can make them gossip about you. So yeah. So don't say that your gossip never stops. Nobody's gossip about me. Yeah. Like your gossip never stops. It can be about what you're wearing. People can just like it can be about what you're wearing. You can just pass that like see what I'm talking about. Like people talk about that. You will meet a lot of people, like you meet a lot of people kind of see eh? those people you are coming with in your secondary school those are your main g ones you're going to meet in school you don't know them before you don't know the attitude before don't say like okay i've met them for i've been talking to them for like one semester we've been close there's this attitude that you will still have that you don't know but the ones that you've been with in secondary school you already know their attitude you already know the way they behave you already know that okay if i do this thing they'll get angry and they're not going to like if they know that this is what i like this is what i don't like you need to start doing new introduction to them okay fine they might not be in your department you guys are not be in the same department you can have a friend in other departments but you can be close friends with them but don't ever push the ones that have, you guys don't ever push the ones you brought with from secondary school don't push them away make sure that you still keep in contact with them and don't make it turn to don't make you guys relationship turn to just hi hi make sure you stick with the ones you brought from secondary school because those are your main g they are never going to disappoint you even though when they disappoint you it's not going to be as painful as one as you people that you just met in university your friends can do something your friends from secondary school can do it something that will hurt you but you won't feel pain like you won't feel pain at all and if they do the same thing people that you met in university if they do the same thing you will feel that pain like you'll be like where is this coming from do you know what i'm saying she was the ones who brought from secondary school first before chosen anybody from university you will spend a lot of money on food you will spend all your money like you know what i'm saying all your money is basically going to food 70 percent of my money is going to food and the remaining 30 percent is maybe i want to keep the money or save out of it or like buy some other things that they sell in your store avoid being the class if i this kind of person that likes this low-key life like you like your life being low-key you don't even want anybody to know you you just want to be on your own you just you just want to be on your own avoid being the cost rip avoid being close friends with the cost rip don't say that you're following cost rip up and down and you don't want people to know you you're following cost rip up and down you just want people to know you that's the thing because as long as you're following uh, cost rip up and down doing this or cost rip doing this thing in cost rip i just feel like you're seeking for attention there's no anonymous that cost rip name will not always be there i name will surely be in the anonymous 
and you being the cost rep friend you don't know what other people are thinking about you 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 might just be going on your own you might just like be thinking okay i'm just helping cost rep i'm just helping out to do these things i'm just, I just like the cost rep attitude i like the way she does and that's just your, your that's your own intention that's your intention of like being friends with cost rep but other people is going to see it in another way and the way they will, the way they will give you their own words, you won't like it. You think it's more than that. And you say, if you start questioning yourself, is this really why? Is this why I'm with cost trip? Is this why I'm not with cost trip? Is this why? Do you know what I'm saying? You're dressing, you might dress very, very weird. And I mean, very weird. And nobody might know you. Nobody might know you. They might know you, but they don't know that, okay, they don't know how to describe you doing the anonymous. They don't know how you, they don't know how to even put it. But the moment I will cost trip, you just hear, that girl that used to follow culture up and down, that dressing is so bad. Like, and you know what I'm saying? I like that girl that follows culture up and down. It is who? They even need to look to the side. You are the one. You are the one. Someone say you should not be because you're not saying that you should not be culture friend. You can be culture friend. You can be very close to culture, but it's your wish if, if that's what you want. We're going to cafe the night. It's going to be rowdy. You know, you know, smell the first kind of thing. I don't want to smell. So, make sure you get your food from five or six. Six latest. Six latest. That's when you should get your food. Because when you start going there by seven, by eight, people that want to meet, people that don't want to meet, people that want to see, people that don't want to see, will be there already. And it's going to be jump hard. And I know you don't want to smell what I'm talking about. I know you don't want to smell it. I know. Take church serious. Don't miss church. That's the thing. You are a Muslim, you are a Christian, you are a traditional worshipper. Whatever thing you are doing, whoever you are worshipping, make sure you go to church. Because that's without if you don't go to church, you're gonna be punished. Like you're gonna be punished. You might do the, the day they will check. There will be a day, maybe that's it. Maybe you'll be going to church. Oh, you're going to church very well. Then this day are just tired. They're like, okay, I don't want to go to church. That can be the day that they're gonna be checking the green card. And when they check the green card, they're gonna say that okay, she's not going to church today. Call her out, let her watch the gutter. And watching the gutter is not that okay, I'm just gonna watch the gutter, and that's all. People are watching you. Everybody are going to class are watching you. I'm gonna be watching it on the Monday. I'm gonna be wearing your on the Monday. You can't leave the hostel without wearing corporate. So you're gonna wear corporate to wash gutter. That's how it is. You're gonna wear your corporate, your shoes, your, your clothes looking neat. That's what I'm going to use to watch the gutter. Yeah. So make sure you go to church every time because it's compulsory. The green card I'm talking about, that's where they mark when we are going to church. If we're going on an exit, if we're leaving the school, you want to go home. That's where they mark it. So now imagine your. I know you don't want to be questioned, right? You're going home, you don't want to be questioned. Now imagine them checking your green card and like, you haven't been going to church for like two months. Try when you've been in school, you've not gone to church. And you think you're not going to be questioned while you are going home. You're going to question yourself. Maybe it might be a little hard for you. Yeah, it might be a little hard for you. Because she's going to check how you'll be going to church. And she's going to say that, oh, you're not going to church. That's going to be, that's something that I don't want to try. Potters will annoy you. Hey! When I mean potters, the potters will annoy you. You can just leave your hostel looking all glam, looking all gorgeous. And guess what? So when you get to the potter side, you just hear, Go and change your shirts. Go and change your skates. It's not allowed. Go and change your... Like... Bruh. For me, yeah, they've never sent me a way before because before I went to Caleb, I already like watched all the videos listened to Caleb. These are the ones that they don't want. So I already watched everything. So, when I was going, like, my clothes are always what they want and everything. They don't question me. And I feel like it depends on the hall you go to. Depends on the all you go to because some outfits are allowed, but in that all it's not allowed. Some outfits are allowed in the school building, in the school everything, but your hostel might not allow it. That's what it is. So I feel like I'm gonna talk better on the outfits. I feel like I'm gonna talk. I'm still gonna talk on what to wear, what not to wear about Caleb, but like not now. Probably later, I'm gonna tell you what is allowed and what is not allowed in Caleb. And watch out for friends. Watch out for friends. Make sure, like I already, I already said, right? Watch out for friends. Don't move with the bad friends. Stick with the one you have. 
from secondary school those ones are the best because you already know you and the ones i'm gonna be meeting you know their attitude they don't know what they don't know what they like being you don't know who they are you don't know their intentions of coming to Caleb. you that like, came to the you came to Caleb with the intentions of studying see they might be intelligent though they might be intelligent they just they got they got have they might have something upstairs but there are some things that they do that, that you know that okay if i do this thing with them my grades are going to drop that's it if i do these things with them my grades are going to drop drop massively so that's it with that attitude that they have with that behavior that they have of going everywhere in the school with that attitude they still have something else yes but you if you are doing it i know that okay i'm not this intelligent i want to be going with the way they are doing because you need to focus on yourself more than your friends be positive have a positive mindset have everything just have that okay everything's going to be fine everything's going to be good everything is going to be get put your trust in god that's it make sure you are good upstairs make sure your mental health is okay make sure your mind is clean and yeah make sure your mind is clean and make sure you don't keep malice to anybody in the school you don't know who is who you don't know what this one is bringing from home you don't know what this one is bringing from here so that's gonna be the end of this video make sure you subscribe like and share and you know what welcome to caleb